And so when I was in prison, I was able to get a college degree. Folks saw as much concern for us and said, you know, we need to make sure that they're able to keep on with their lives. And so I got a college degree, and I never say that to impress anybody, but more rather to impress upon people that if I was in there and I was able to make something of myself, we can most certainly make something of ourselves out here. You know what I'm saying? And so I definitely thank you all for what you're doing. I commend, I didn't know that the other colleges were, had to close their doors. And so it's a, it's a great honor, I think, to hear that Mercy has opened its doors and said, hey, we have a place for you. You know, it makes me proud to be a native New Yorker. It makes me proud to be in the Boogie Down Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but at the same time, too, it makes me proud to be alive, to be able to experience this, to be able to experience it with a, with a, with a mind that is still intact. You know, to be able to stand here before you and share some words is, and most important, to have my mother in the audience with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I'm going to wrap up with a piece of poetry. I wanted to be a hip hop artist when I was in prison. And I never got the opportunity to actually become a hip hop artist. And maybe that may change, because my five minutes of fame was when I stood in front of the judge and I uttered these words that I'm going to say to you. They asked me at 16 if I had anything to say before they sentenced me. They arrested us at 15, and now we had lost trial. It had been a year later. And I stood up. <clears throat> My mother wasn't allowed to be in the courtroom because she wasn't going to just sit there and allow them to do to me what they had done to countless others. And so they kept telling my mother she couldn't be in the courtroom, she had to be outside. But I stood up and I felt like this was my last chance to say anything. And when they gave me the opportunity, I stood and I started with the words of Malcolm X. I said, I'm not going to sit here at your table and watch you eat and call myself dinner. Mm. Sitting here at your table doesn't make me dinner. Just like being here in America doesn't make me an American. And I've always gotten a little bit of flack about that statement being included in my opening remarks. Because the reality was that I was tapping into the fact that we have not been properly represented even though we get taxed. We have not been properly represented They've seen us as less than a whole human being. And I was trying to build on that reality to let people know that I, was, I too was aware at 16. And so I said, I'm not gonna sit at your table and watch you eat and call myself dinner. Sitting here at your table doesn't make me dinner just like being here in America doesn't make me an American. <laughs> let us begin. Stress is the anger that is built up inside. Rage is the anger that is no longer built. Taking on the sucker that soon you have killed. American free will doesn't mean you can kill. And take another person's life, you live your life trite. I'm a skill builder, so when skills I do build. Creator giving knowledge to this wise black man. Soon to enhance my words across the land. I'm a smooth type of fellow, cool, calm, and mellow. I'm kind of laid back, but now I'm speaking so that you know. That used and abused and even once put on the news. Without clues, some gave clues, selling out like fools, I checked it. Who did what and who did who in? Put in a situation that you don't know what to do in. Some brothers go wildin', we're not down with them. Who would have thought I'd have to lock in? I stand accused. Checking the scene from how the situation was, instead of getting facts, the media made you blurred. Now the people don't know. All they see is the media. They never hear the blame because they're constantly deceiving us. The DA is dead wrong. This is her master plan? This case is not a case, it's just a crafted sham. Yo, instead of trying to get your name made, it's reconstructing the crime that really pays. Islam, la ilaha illallah, being supreme over Satan, but no man is Allah, yes, I'm a science dropper on the righteous path, so how the hell could I take a rapist path? Think about that and then think about this. All my friends, it was me they dissed, they're dismissed. Because I don't really need any friends like that. Like when I really needed you, where were you at? I'm not dissing them all, but the ones that I called that wouldn't diss me, 
like I was an inch small, like a rat, a mouse, not even a man, wrongly accused, like the knife's in my hand? How does it look? Me clock, now I'm shook, but like Matlock, soon the accused gets off the hook. It's real when she remembers and says, damn, the cops did you in. I stand accused. You people stop. This racial disperse. Oh, yo, you seen that kid, Benson? He's in a hearse. And so we take it to the Benson Hearst fields. Whites had bulletproof vests. We had no kinds of shields. How does it look? They just killed the black man. Being black, it's time we take a stand. In our situation, you saw our faces clear, but not mine, not because of fear. It's because the black race was disgraced and for the Muslim. They must have felt shame, but I'm not to blame with the words you bought. The media took our words to paper, the ones the cops distorted. I told the cops truth like this, and then boom, they were smacking my man Corey Wise in the next room. Now I know why the Rosters can't stand the Bobby Long. They never help, they just babble on. I used to think the people and cops were cool, but who protects us from you? I stand accused. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.